we're going to play a little game with you, Coach. We're going to ask uh, – it's going to be a match game. I'm okay. going to uh, give you a sentence. You tell me which player this best describes, okay? Player that's playing now? No, going back through your entire career, okay. all all of your, uh, your time coaching. Who was the most superstitious of your players? Well, funny sort of way, I, I, my teams became that. Do you know my teams in 98-99 in took showers before every game? Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I know they wanted to be clean, good smelling, Dove product possibly, but I have no <laughs> idea. And, they, and the more we won, and that team was 35-2. and two. Yeah. So we keep taking the showers. But the idea is like, really? Yeah, I guess it's more important. They took showers after the game too, right? I think, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so. Uh, so the whole team. Okay, so who had the biggest appetite? Kid All named, your players. A kid named Mark Sir, a seven-foot kid from Cologne, West Germany. He used to wait when we go to rib place, and the kids could, you know, piles of big young kids. There'd be things left. All they say is, Sir, not S I S H U R. <laughs> sir. <laughs> he would finish off the carcass of the bones? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, who was the biggest goofball? Biggest goofball. In his own sort of way, Richard Hamilton. Richard Hamilton was a funny, funny kid. And at times, I said, Richard, you're really funny. You just don't, but this is not an act. You're actually not funny. <laughs> he did the goofy things. He was a great, great kid, great player. But, but he did some goofy things as a young kid. Yeah. And went on to be an NBA champion. Uh, who reminds you the most of yourself? Good, that's a great question. Um, in dedication, probably Ray Allen. Because Ray Allen, when he started to shoot, he was as locked in as any person I've ever met in my life, okay? Even the way he dressed, he was Jesus Sheldon with the way he dressed perfectly every single day. Hollywood, by the way, was his nickname. And then, I, and then the guy who tried to learn the most all the time was a mechorographer who graduated in two and a half years, four rolling genius, great player, you know, second guy taking the draft, rookie of the year, all those great things. But he's another guy with incredible amounts of focus. Yeah, I would say those two guys. Okay, so if Ray Allen's kind of got that OCD, do you have that a little uh, bit? A little bit. Yeah, kind of it. Okay, <laughs> okay uh, and final one for you. Who was the one recruit who got away? Yeah, it's funny. I, I tell you, a kid named Jen, Brandon Jennings, a great player, NBA player, told us he was coming. And then we found out he was going to visit another school. So I'm in Connecticut. I get in the car. That's the Bostonian car. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> I, and I drive down. It was parked, and then you got in car, it. Yeah. I parked the <laughs> car down here. Anyways. And I get to, I went to Harlem, Rice High School, and I asked the kid, hey, Kimba, we want you. I said, coach, you're my dream school. And there's a, where I lost Brandon Jennings, a terrific player, but got a really terrific player, too.